Hi, it's Corrine, and I'm here today for Craft Supplies 1. Julie has both a Zibit and Etsy store, and I will put links to both her stores in the description box below. And this month is an exciting month. We're doing a cross promotion with Gina's Designs. So I will also put Gina's information down in the description box along with the um, item that I altered this month. This will be my last design team project for Craft Supplies 1 for a little while while I'm working on a few other things. But um, I sure hope you continue to shop with Julie. She has the most amazing prices and she is constantly adding new items. She has a ton of new flowers and really, really great prices. I know that I'll be doing my shopping there as well. So. Um, let me share with you what I made today. This is a standing flip book, and this is from Gina's Designs. Like I said, I'll put the link to this in the description box below. This, once it's assembled, stands 12 inches tall and it's 6 inches wide, and it's a flip album, so it comes with six different chipboard pages, and the stand itself is laser cut from hardboard. So it's a very sturdy item, super simple to put together. And I have a mostly start to finish on this, so I will put that at the end of this video if you're interested. The only thing I didn't really video is adhering my paper. I just simply measured the paper, added black soot distressing to all the edges, and adhered it down with some Scotch Quick Dry. The edges of all the chipboard, I used the black soot distress paint and I went around all the edges knowing that there would be a small border. Um, but the stand itself, I added two coats of black acrylic paint, and this really took paint well. It actually looked great with one coat, but I went ahead and added two just to make sure. So on the front here, you can see I added all of Julie's flowers. There's leaves. These are all from sprays that I cut apart, and these um, teal looking flowers or blue flowers are new in Julie shop. All of these actually are new um, besides for these little gray roses. This might be a little difficult to show you on um, camera, but I do have detailed photos after the start to finish on this if you're interested. So I added the flowers all along the front here. and on the back of the album as well. The paper that I used for this album is probably one of my favorites from Tim Holtz. It's the wallflower paper and it's absolutely stunning paper. So I really tried not to over embellish the album. Um, my plans are for this album is to add photos and then maybe go back and add a little bit of embellishments throughout. But the photos is, is going to be my main focus, so I wanted to add those first on most of the pages. So what I like about this album is it comes with six different pages and they're all different bordered. So this one here has a scallop border. And on the front here is, this is part of a spray from one of, um, I don't have many of the new flowers left, I've used a lot of them, but several of them come in sprays like this and I cut apart and use them. And that's what I did here. This is this is from a spray and these pearls are from a spray. These leaves are from a different spray along with these two flowers. I used two handmade flowers. This one's gray. It sort of looks black so it went well with this. And then I also used some of Julie's small flowers here in gray just to give it a, a little bit different color. I added some seam binding in black around the top. And then I added some of Julie's flat back pearls here and here as well. This was super simple to put together. So you flip it, it'll flip all the way over, okay? And this makes a great, um, like a coffee table end or on one of your shelves. I have a place on a, um, my, um, I have a big nook above my fireplace, so that's where this will go. So here's the second page. I just love this paper with it. And then the third page is a banner shape. The next page I did add some of the flatback pearls and a few of the flowers. And as you can see, it's a tabbed page. And here's the back of that page. 
Next page is another tabbed page. Here's a, a banner flag page. I added some of her pearls. Here's the next page. Again, I added some of that pearl spray, uh, one of the leaves, one of the flowers, and then three of the small flowers there. And it's a tab page as well. And then here is the very last page. So again, this is very sturdy. This would make a great gift. Um, you could decorate it for someone and then just let them add their pictures to it as well. And there's so many flowers in Julie's shop to choose from to add to a design like this. So I will put the links in the description box below. And I want to say thank you so much to Gina's Designs, to Gina, for your awesome product that we were able to use this month. And thank you so much, Julie, for all your awesome um, flowers and all your embellishments that you have in your store. You have a great store. And I'm very proud to have, to have been part of the design team. So thank you all so much for watching. And stay tuned for the start to finish along with detailed photos. Thanks.